but but yeah that's cool because you're you're doing these push-ups and i guess people come to you and they're like hey i can't do one push-up what do you tell them the moment they try to do one thing and you know like i tried to do one push-up i can't do it that's it i'm not for this and i just want to tell them you can go there i will reminisce back the journey that i had for the past couple of years what i've gone through to be in my position right now. But the thing is, you can't realize it on a day-to-day basis because it occurs so slowly. Um, We often very overestimate what we can do in one day and underestimate what we can do, like you said, in 10 months, where, you know, 10 months ago, you're doing knee push-ups. Now you're doing 30 push-ups and that's just your reality. And that's what people on the internet see when they see you doing it. It's like, wow, she's strong. But you also have those clips of you doing knee push-ups and progressing there. And that's also you. That's just you 10 months ago. It's the same you here today. You've just gone through 10 months of training and it's not all exciting and it's this new like tagline of mine is that the truth will make you yawn you know you start from your knee push-ups and you show up and you have to do them every day and you don't see progress day by day you see progress month by month week by week like year by year maybe i realize a lot the power of doing small things at one time yes it's it's a progression you need to be patient like you said i would advise to all my friends whatever whoever they are just one just do one today at least is one or you can start with wall push up that is when you feel okay getting the right form and getting into it because instead of you trying to be very impatient and doing it in the wrong form you don't have to do push up do things that you like do things mm-hmm. that you feel enjoy because i enjoy push up i realize i enjoy push up just thinking about that chase just just doing push up makes me so happy yeah. yeah it's it's amazing it's it's something that you had to conquer it's just to really put it into step by step instructions for somebody that wants to get their first push-up. I have yeah. lots of clients doing wall push-ups. Is that where you started as well? Exactly. Okay. Even before I did a lot of um, workout, even, even way before push-up, I started with any workout that involving my upper body. Slowly, I got into any kind of workout with resistant band. You That's yeah. the progression and regression is kind of yes. what we call it, where for every fundamental movement, whether it's a push-up or a squat, squat or a pull up or a bench press or an over like whatever movement you're doing there is a giant number of regression exercises that you can do to to really walk yourself down so that you can start wherever you need to start and it doesn't matter what someone else can do today it matters that today you do a little bit more than you did yesterday you know yesterday it was a sloppy looking knee push up tomorrow just do two knee push ups that maybe look a little less sloppy then the next day do 3 and then the next day do four. And then maybe if knee pushups were too hard, take it to the wall. If you need a happy medium between the wall and your knees, you can do elevated hands pushup where your hands are on a bench. It's just all about facing more or less gravity. And then if standard pushups get too easy, you can raise your feet up onto that bench. And now you're fighting more of gravity and you're doing a decline pushup. But in, in just a movement like a pushup, there's so many variations that you can do. And it's just about showing up and saying, you know, what? am I capable of? It doesn't matter what someone else can do. It's just, where are you? Do that and keep doing it. And in 10 months, two years, three years, 10 years, you'll be, you'll be doing all sorts of different pushups, but it's not going to happen tomorrow. People try to rush fitness. People really try to rush nutrition. They (laughs) think it's easy. It's, it's just as hard as doing the pushups, maybe harder. And that's why you got to start with what you can do. Because when you do the pushups, maybe, maybe nutrition's too hard to tackle, but the momentum from showing yourself that you can achieve things through doing push-ups will show you that you can achieve things through changing your diet. And that will show you that you can achieve things through changing your habits and routines around business. You know, maybe you want to change your career, but if you can prove that you can change your body, you could prove to yourself that you can change anything. This is quite interesting, actually. Why am I saying this? Because um, I always tell myself, Hannah, no one can ever tell you how good you are without you believing how good you are. So be it in a small decision, be it in nutrition-wise, you know, work or fitness, like you yourself, Chase, you you know, I can't wait for people to tell me, oh, Hannah, good job. You yourself have to congratulate yourself for making one small changes every day. Yeah. Amen. As Hannah just said, congratulating yourself for showing up and doing whatever you need to do based on where you're at. And then zoom out and realize the big picture that, you know, where you're at today is a much different place than where you could be in two years. 
but where you are today is very close to where you're going to be tomorrow. It just matters that you show up and do that daily ritual and you make it a little bit better. That's progression. Progression is just a little bit better each time because if you make it too much better each time, you're never going to be able to sustain that. So take those little steps and like Hannah said, pat yourself on the back every step of the way. Thank you.